Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I'm going to be working on this Game Boy Advance. Now this one I know has an issue with this fuse. It's gone bad. And this was done from my previous video where I was troubleshooting the issues with the no power. So today I'm going to work on replacing this fuse right here with one that I bought from console five. So these are the replacement fuses. And after that, we're just going to go ahead and give it a test and see if everything's working again. So let's get started. So here I'm just gonna heat up my soldering iron and just melt away the sides and then just kind of lift it off one at a time and that way we can go ahead and remove that fuse. So I'll be the first to admit that I'm not very good at removing that fuse just because of this component here. It seems to just kind of get in the way. Now we're going to go ahead and put the new fuse on here and the polarity doesn't matter. So the way you orient it really doesn't matter as long as you get it on there. So normally what I like to do is just kind of melt one side to tack it onto the board. And then the other side, I just simply melt it on there make sure it makes a good connection. Then we go ahead and test it. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, let's go ahead and test it out now. All right, let's power it on. All right, check that out. It seems to be working. The only thing I haven't tested out is if the game cartridge reader works. So let's go ahead and pop one in real quick. I know the buttons are not there, but let's just see if the rest of it works. So it looks like it's reading the game. All right, everything seems to be working. So that's all there is to it. I mean, if you do have a broken fuse and you need to swap it out, uh, this is one easy way of doing it. Now, this swap is really not that hard. The only thing that's difficult is needing a steady hand uh, just to kind of hold it in place. But honestly, if you mess up, one of the things I would consider is just buying like, uh, like a set. So here I have 10, but I mean, if you're new to it and you haven't done this in the past, um, I mean, I haven't really replaced too many fuses on this Game Boy Advance. But if you do mess up, you should just order a couple of extras just in case you mess it up. And in the case that you do, I mean, simply just toss the one that you messed up and then try it again. So as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this was a continuation of my previous video that I uploaded. If you haven't seen that, you can go ahead and check it out to see how I troubleshoot it and diagnose that it was the fuse that was the problem. If you're new to the channel, please be sure to subscribe. And if this content is helpful to you, please be sure to hit that like button. I'll catch you all next time.